The seasons are changing again. It's the second day of fall, 2015, and the leaves are just beginning to turn on the trees. It's another uh, drop dead gorgeous day. We've had a couple of months in a row of just shockingly good weather. My two hay binds are still sitting up here. I haven't uh, ruled out doing another cutting, but probably not this year. I'll have to get them tarped up and covered up and ready for the winter time. Boy, look at that view. Camera doesn't do it justice, that's for sure. I don't know, this might be a little interesting to film. I gotta skid those. Oh, I guess there's 10 tops in here. You can probably see most of them in the camera. A couple over there, two or three over there, a couple there, and this one. And that stump is right in the direction of where I want to go. So I got to resort to old, just winch tactics. Using a three point as a, a jack and it'll pull itself over little by little wedge between that little tree right there and that stump. It's actually a pretty long tree. It's probably 35 foot long. It's high enough it might it might go. Let's see. That's hurting the tractor. It's too big. I think what I'm going to do is cut the log. Well, it's getting dark. Uh, I cut it off with Cyclops up by that stump. Like, I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah. We'll see what we got. This is uh, saw on the tractor take three. I've got a bunch of angry chipmunks around here squeaking at me. You know, 
So I'll be competing with them. I got an apple tree right there, which is probably feeding them. But anyway, I use that term for the last few years. And the saw on the tractor is the one that is my go-to saw for most operations. And the one I pick up and, uh, well, put on the tractor when I have to go out and do some work. And my current saw on the tractor is uh, Cyclops. And if you've watched my video series, you know what Cyclops is. But what makes it saw on the tractor is this. Starts easy, three pulls cold, one pull hot. Uh, it doesn't have a really long bar, so it doesn't take me much to touch up the chain. You know, 20 inches is about as much as I'm going to have when I saw on the tractor. It's ugly enough where it gets banged around on the tractor. I don't really care that much. It's not a nice, new, pretty saw. It's ugly. It's Cyclops. Look at that thing. Um, it's reliable. It's proven reliable now after, what, a year and a half of relatively hard use. Uh, it's been lent out to people, so it's got a lot of time on it in addition to my time, and I've put a lot of time on this saw as well. Um, it's a uh, 372X torque bottom end and tank and handle, and it has a Hudsel 52 millimeter 372 style big bore top end, and the build was uh, my muffler mod where it's a three-quarter inch tube in a Hudsel muffler, brazed, not painted because it's, uh, well, Cyclops. And I used 1184 for a base gasket. It picked up some compression because the squish was reduced by 18 thousandths. And I think the squish in this saw is like in the high 20s. I can't remember exactly, but it's it's got enough compression. It runs strong. Um, you know, it's not optimal build, but again, it's certainly more than enough to do what I do. That saw right there is a match of a uh, OEM 372 XPW. That's what it's a match of. Actually, it's a little more. Um, it has the 365 style plastic and uh, filter. Again, ease of use, smaller overall package. All those things are combined to make that my saw on the tractor. Doesn't use a lot of fuel. I don't know why it doesn't, but it doesn't. Overall, it's just a great saw. You know, it's proven reliable. It's proven easy to start. It's proven easy to maintain. It's lightweight because 372s are just lightweight from the get-go, especially the old-style ones. The new-style X-Torque's a little heavier, but that's effectively an old-style, even though it has a new-style X-Torque bottom end. And it also has the uh, 365 top plastic, which is a little bit smaller. And it has a Sujahara lightweight bar. All those things combined to make it a little smaller package, a little bit lighter, a little easier for me to handle, and... When you add it all up, it is the saw on the tractor. That practical farm saw that gets picked up uh, when I have a job to do. It's the first one I go for almost every time, just simply because it works. But, uh, got a lot of work to do today. But that's what the saw on the tractor is. Some people might call it a farm saw. Well, here's case in point. This is a log that uh, you may or may not have remembered from one of my early videos when I was doing uh, comparisons of the uh, Hudsel saw relative to other saws. And, uh, of course, it was covered by snow, but all this down here is good firewood, and 
in a normal time, I'd be up to my axles right now in, in mud because this is a natural spring in this area and usually quite wet. Um, so I'm going to fish this wood out of here. It's all good firewood. I don't know if that explanation of saw on the tractor is good enough, but basically it's my go-to saw right now. Well, I used a uh, saw on the tractor to take a lot of the small stuff off the top, leaving me just the logs. It's still a little bit soupy in here. And I want to back a whole lot further because it's kind of soupy in here. See that? No problem. Now I fished it up out of the hole. I'll leave it right here. I'm going to go back and get a couple of more, you know, get them out of the swamp. And then when I get them up here, I'll bundle them together and run them down to the landing, which is down that way. Yeah, it's a little muddy still. But that's the point, is I can get it out now. Yeah, they tangled a little bit, so I'm just going to drag them both. now is in the section of woods that's uh, the furthest south. Look at these ash trees. Boy, they grew fast. They were little tiny trees when I cut these down. And I left them because I figured, you know, everybody was afraid of that ash borer thing. I figured I'd leave some behind and see what happens. And uh, this is what happens as they grow. They grow like a weed. A couple years, that'll be a really nice tree. Same with that one. But anyway, let me see if I can hook onto this damn thing. Now let's see what it does. Take it easy. 
crazy because uh, trying to tell this thing rocks. Run some pretty rough terrain. The other problem I have is it's amazing how fast the winches are front end up when it hooks those logs on something. I don't want to turn the tractor over on me right now. As long as I get a little lift out of it, it's usually all right. Yeah, it's up and over these knolls. Pretty steep. side and I'm gonna shorten it up. That's better. Sometimes I have to actually uh, cut those a little bit so the Y will fit between the trees. We'll see how that works. Nice firewood in that one. That feels better. Four-wheel drive really makes a difference. So far, so good. And I have probably in sight 25 or 26 good size. Good-sized ash trees. Not the best hitch I've ever done, but I think I'm out of the woods. No pun intended. All right, not my best hitch. A little unorthodox. It may or may not work. Got a pretty steep hill up here to go climb too. See how this plays. But mostly on grass at this point, even though it's steep.
problem at all. Not even carrying the tires. Sometimes they go up this hill pedaling the tires. Yeah, here comes one of the guys doing the motorcycle today. Typical fishing expedition. Of course, you gotta take it in two shots because as soon as that tractor comes over the hump, with that long a cord, of course, it wants to dig right in. So now I can get some lift on it. I'll lift it right out of there. be able to get over that hump. Well, this is what I fished out this morning. A few, few hitches, getting them out of the wet areas. These trees would have been wasted if it wasn't so damn dry because I couldn't get to them before. Better than average hitch. This is only half this top, too. It's actually a pretty good sized tree. Actually, I believe this is uh, one of the trees that was in one of the videos that was uh, one of them trees that was split in half. Came down in different directions. A bunch more top of it left, too. Now this is uh, Sunday's haul. I gotta get all that split and up to the barn so there's more room on the landing. But uh, begin to stock up for our, our get together we're gonna have in a couple of weeks. So I wanted to pull out all the tops I can. Like I've said about six times in prior video shots. These are coming out of places that typically I can't get to because it's usually too wet. Been so dry, I can just uh, fish them out now. So that's what I'm doing is getting a lot of this wood. It's only been down for a couple years, you know. Sometimes, you know, I just go for it with my international all chained up, but that little tractor just can't get to where that international can. And, uh, you know, sometimes I prefer not to risk it out in the woods. Sometimes I'd rather have something smaller and more maneuverable. And when it's dry like this, it gives me the opportunity to fish this stuff out, which is kind of small for the International, but just right for this tractor. 